Hello viewers, this is Wagada Ronald taking you through today's tutorial on Integration 1 and its applications. And today's lesson shall talk about area enclosed by a curve and a line. So the area enclosed by the curve y1 equal to fx and the line y2 equal to gx is given by area equal to integral of y1 minus y2 with respect to x from ax to bx. So I think I can see that this is the area, so the function of the curve, and this is the function of the line. So you subtract the two, and these are the limits, and where are these got from? These limits are the points, x values of the points of intersection. So, but remember that this is the upper li being the upper limit. It means that of these two points, the bigger one becomes the upper limit and the smaller one becomes the lower limit. So that's how you can get the area. So then you can see this is the curve y1 equal to fx and this is the line y2 equal to gx. They have two points of intersection, point A and point B. Now you, what you do, you get the x values of those two points. This point is ax and the x value of this point is bx. So this will be greater than this one. Therefore, the upper limit will be bx and the lower limit will be ax. Then what you integrate is the difference between the area of the curve, sorry, the difference between the two functions, y1 minus y2. So if the area is positive you have got, it means that the area was lying above the line y2 equal to gx. On the other hand, if it is negative, it means that the area lies below the line y2 equal to gx. But remember, we are interested in the magnitude of the area. The same method is also used to obtain area enclosed between two curves. So whether the area is enclosed between a curve and a line or between two curves, this method is used. So shall use that knowledge to go through the following problems. So problem one says, find the area bounded by the curve between the curve y equal to 7 minus x minus x squared and the line y equal to 5. So the first thing to do is to get the limits and the limits are got by getting the points of intersection. Therefore the point of intersection, the y1 will be equal to y2. Where y1 is the, is the function of the curve and this one is the function of the line. So this y1 is that, y2 is that. So equate the two and solve the equation to get the values of x. So I'll get, I'll, this is a quadratic, I'll have to get two factors whereby their product is equal to 1. So their sum is equal to 1 and their product is equal to negative 2. And those factors are negative 1 and 2. After getting those factors, I can now substitute. Sub, factorize to get x minus 1 mu multiplied by x plus 2. Now if for x minus 1 equal to 0, x will be equal to 1. And for x plus 2 equal to 0, x will be equal to 2. Now that I've got two values of x at the point of intersection, it means that these values will act as my limits. Now this one is greater than this, meaning the lower limit will be negative 2 and the upper limit will be positive 1. So now we shall get the area which is required. So the area is given by integral from negative 1 to 1, which are the in points of inter intersection of y1 minus y2, which integrated with respect to x. Now y1 is this, which is 7 minus x minus x squared, 
and y2 is 5. So when I subtract, I come up with 2 minus x minus x squared. So I have to integrate this. When I integrate 2, I come up with 2x. Integrate x, I'll come up with x squared over 2. Integrate x squared, I'll come up with x cubed over 3. Next, we'll be now to substitute for the limits. Begin with the upper limit, where there is x to the other 1, which is the upper limit to come up with this bracket. Then minus, where there is x to the lower limit, which is negative 2, to come up with this bracket. And when you simplify this further, you come up with 7 over 6. Simplify this further, you come up with 14 over 3. And when you use the calculator, you come up with negative 3.5. Now, this negative means that the area is below the line y equal to 5. Now, we shall go to problem 2. It says that find the area bounded between the curve y equal to x cubed plus 8 and the line y equal to 4x plus 8. So the first thing to do is to get the points of intersection. At the point of intersection, we know that y1, which is the area, which is the equation of, sorry, the function of the curve, and y2, which is the function of the line, are equal. So when I equate the two, I come up with this. Simplify further, bring everything on one side. I think I see that eight has cancelled. You remain with x cubed and four x, and in this x is common. Therefore, factorize out x. That means that either x equal to zero or x squared minus four is equal to zero. Now, for x equal to zero, you come up with this, and for x squared minus two four equal to zero. It implies that x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 4, which will give me plus or minus 2. So I think I realize that I have got three values of the points of intersection. What does that mean? It means that the area is split into two. One is, is split into two. One is above the line and the other is below the line. So let's first make a sketch of the area so that you can see what I've been talking about. So that is the, this is the line y equal to 4x plus 8 and this is the curve y equal to x cubed plus 8. I think I said that there are three intercepts. There is this one, this one, and this one. That means that one area will be above the line and the other will be below the line. So always, when you get three in points of intersection, intersection always just remember that one area is below the line and another is above the line. So what do you do? You split it into two. First get the area from this to this. Then after that, you add the area from this to that. So that's what we are going to do. Now y1 minus y2 is equal to that. Therefore, I'm going to first get area 1, which is from negative 2 to 0. And when I integrate, I'll come up with this. Substitute my limits, I'll come up with this. And then I'll get 4 as my area 1. Now for area 2, I'll integrate the same function, but the limits will change. It is now from 0 to 2. When I substitute the limits, I'll come up with this, and then I'll get negative 4. I think you can see that one area is positive, another one is negative. Remember, we are interested in magnitudes. So this negative, you'll put magnitudes on it so that you'll get 4 plus 4, whereby in the end you'll come up with 8 as your area. Now we shall go to problem 3. It says that find the area enclosed by the curves y equal to 2x squared plus 7x plus 3 and y equal to 9 plus 4x minus x squared. So we have been dealing with area between a curve and a line. But remember we said the same concept works for the area between the curve between two curves. So we shall start 
first step is to get the points of intersection. So the point of intersection y1 is equal to y2. Therefore, you equate the two and collect like terms. Then reduce the function, which is that divided by 3. You come up with x squared plus x minus 2. So I have to factorize that and look for the sum, which is 1, and the product, which is negative 2. So the factors will be 2 and negative 1. What does that mean? It means that the factorization will be x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 1. And for x plus 2 equal to 0, x will be equal to negative 2. For x minus 1 equal to 0, x will be equal to 1. So now I've got two value x values for the point of intersection. Therefore, I have to first get the difference between the two curves. So y1 minus y2 will give me this. So no ma it doesn't matter wh whether this is the first, then you say minus this. So you can either say this minus this, or you say this minus this. What we need is the difference between the two curves. So area 1, so the area will be integral from negative 2 to 1. This negative 2 and 1 are the points of intersection, x values are the points of intersection. And this is the difference between the two curves, which is that. And that's what we are going to integrate. So when I integrate 3x squared, I'll come up with x cubed. I integrate 3x, I'll come up with what, 3 over 2x squared. I integrate 6, I'll come up with 6x. Next is to substitute. When I substitute for x where there is x, I put there 1, which is the upper limit. I'll come up with this bracket. When I substitute negative 2 where there is x, I'll come up with this bracket. And when I simplify further, I'll come up with my area as negative 13.5. So now we shall go to area enclosed by the curve, the x-axis and two vertical lines. So consider an area bounded by the curve y equal to fx, the x-axis and two lines x equal to a and x equal to b. So this will be the sketch of that area. This is the curve y equal to fx. This is the x-axis. And these are two lines x equal to a and x equal to b. Now consider a strip, a rectangular strip of width, okay, length which is small change in x and, uh, and width which is y. So the area of that strip will be equal to length times width which will be small change in x times y which will be there so area of one strip will be equal to y times small change in x therefore the total area for from here to here will be equal to the summation of these strips from a x equal to a to x equal to b which is that and in the limit as x small change in x tends to zero this summation sign ten becomes an integral sign. So it becomes now integral of y dx. So the summation sign becomes integral and small change in x becomes dx. Therefore, we shall come up with integral of y dx from a to b. Now, this is the expression for the area enclosed by the curve y and the two lines x go to a and x go to b and the x axis. With that knowledge, you shall go through this problem. So find the area under the curve y equal to x squared plus 3, the x-axis and the lines x equal to negative 1 and 2x equal to 2. So in this case, you are given the limits. We don't need to get the points of intersection. We are given the limits. Therefore, we shall just code the formula that area is equal to integral from x equal to from negative 1 to 2 where negative 1 is this and 2 is that, of y dx. But remember we said you can't differentiate integrate to y with respect to x unless you have expressed y in terms of x. 
So remember y is equal to this. So come and substitute for y to get integral of x squared plus 3 with respect to x from negative 1 to 2. When I integrate, I'll come up with a third x cubed plus x plus 3x. Now I'll substitute. Where there is x, I'll first put 2 to come up with this bracket minus. Where there is x, I'll first I'll put negative 1 to come up with this bracket. Now when I use the calculator, I'll come up with my area as 12 square units. So it's now your turn to go through the following problems. So try that out and compare your answer with this. So try that out and compare your answer with this. So that has been our lesson for today. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel, Roa e-learning platform. Thank you.